Hey, this is Sonia from my happy space. Welcome back at my channel. Today I want to do an entry page for my August Traveler's Notebook. As you can see, I've done most of the entries and I've decided to do a, a welcome page or just to say this is August 2019. And what I want to do is I want to do a reef, a stamp reef, and then later I want to do watering coloring and just color it in. So it's very simple. It turned out very nicely. With these type of things, it always looks very impressive afterwards, but it's actually very simple. And I'll, I want to say to you, give it a go and see if you can do it. So I'm just showing you all the stamps I'm going to use. Um, the, the poppy, I think it's a poppy. It looks almost like a poppy flower with some butterflies and dragonflies and some filler in flowers just to fill in the reef. I've just used a round any round template which you have in your house and I've just done a circle and I'm going to do, I'm using my Versify ink, black ink to stamp um, the flower and I'm going to do four poppy flowers, one at the top, one at the bottom and one at either sides just to give it a balance um, and then I'm going to, the rest of the reef I'm going to fill in with some filler in flowers. So um, I'm just completing that. So in hindsight, I probably should have um, done this entry page first before I done my Tyler's notebook. What I do here is I'm just doing two extra poppies which I'm going to cut off and then I'm going to put it on top of these flowers to mask it when I put my filler flowers in between. So when I put my filler, filler um, stamp my filler fillers flower, then I obviously don't stamp on top of the original poppy. So this is just a clever idea. I'm, I'm sure loads of people do it. And a, a good idea is to for me to keep no, those poppies and add it with my stamp set. So next time when I want to use it, it's already there. I don't have to stamp it again and cut it out again. So I'm definitely going to do that. Um, so I'm just clearing the stamp here. Unfortunately, I don't have the best um, stamp Acrylic, it's not really acrylic block, block that it's just plastic and then um, I've got different sizes and then I just transfer the black handle every time from one stamp block to another but um, it works better than just having for me it works better than just having a normal stamp block because at least you've got control of it you don't have to hold onto the stamp block you can just stamp it and yeah it works better for me so as you see I'm just going around the the reef and just moving these mask poppy cut out flowers from one flower to another just to protect it. This is the filler flowers which I've been talking about, also some of them, and I'm just putting that in various places. Here's a butterfly, I'm going to use that. These um, stamps I got in a magazine. So I just find it's, it's quite good value for money because you get quite a lot of stamps usually with a magazine and it's more or less the same price in Europe have bought the stamp set in the shop. Um, and then plus you obviously have the magazine and there's always some maybe free papers or at least ideas which you can use. So sometimes if I see a stamp set in a craft magazine and I really like it and it's useful, then I will get it. And this one is a very, very useful one. It, there were loads of flowers and all these little animal garden animals or insects rather so this is my paint set or my watercoloring set it's a very basic one it's it's obviously it's one step up from a children's watercoloring paint set but it's definitely not a, a very good and expensive quality one but it, it suits me fine I don't really need anything more at the moment I'm still experimenting learning to do some watercoloring I'm really enjoying it and I watch quite a lot of tutorials on YouTube I'll link um, one or two um, at the bottom just to maybe you're interested in it and yeah I, I really like watercoloring it's it's nice and free and um, yeah, you can make lots of mistakes and it's forgiving and yeah so I'm filling in the the poppies um what with watercoloring what you need to do is you need to you, you're obviously doing the coloring in or the whatever you do the painting and then you wait till it dries and then you go back and you give a little bit more dimension to the flower by adding some colors after it dried so I'm decided to do the, the opposite flowers different colors the pinks and the oranges I didn't want to use too many summery summery um, colors because August in South Africa is winter so I stuck to the more autumn colors so to to give it a little bit more subdued look I like sometimes to use my, my the color for my leaves I like to use a 
grey type of green colour. I don't like bright green sometimes with these watercolouring um, pictures. So that's what I'm trying to do. I probably could have gone more grey. And then I'm just using different colours for the different flowers. Some of them are sort of this cherry red others is orange it doesn't really make sense because <laughs> you get <laughs> two different color flowers on one stem but i'm um, yeah that's the fun of it you can just go wild you can just do it um if you look at the close-up pictures you will see i didn't stick to very much to the lines of the of the flowers i just wanted to do to have a simple effect of water coloring with this reef if you wanted to do it a little bit better you probably should have gone for a finer a brush um, brushes but I just use this aqua one which is nice you just have to put the water in there and um, yeah you're just good as go so um, I've also put some black dots or black paint or darker paint in the middle of the flower just to bring that out a little bit and now I'm doing the butterfly putting various colors on the butterfly just to just make it a little bit more interesting and not so flat i find if you don't go back and add some different color or darker color at the top then it, it the flower looks very fat oh flat sorry not fat flat <laughs> so what i'm doing here now is go i'm going back with a darker color as you look at the flower you always see the center of a flower is dark so obviously now you want to just bring a little bit of darker color to the center of this flower and what i've done now is i've just mixed some black or took some black paint and then I'm just basically um, popping my um, brush on, in the middle to bring these black dots to give it the effect of these little small seeds or the center of the of the flower and yeah I'm going back with the purple paint and just bring a little bit more dimension to the purple flowers and later I'll go back to the leaves and to the, all the other flowers just to bring a little bit more dimension to this um, paint. So it turned out very nicely um, and um, yeah, I was very happy with how it turned out. So here I've got my offers, uh, my offers, not stamps, yeah, offer letters. And I'm just going to put the word August in the middle. Um, I started it a little bit to the uh, at the one side because I was worried I'm not going to be able to spell August, but I was ending up having quite a lot of space. So I decided to put 19 also there just to, yeah, just to make sure I know this is August 19. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this page. Um, give it a go. I'm sure you've got some flower stamps in your stash and some leaves and, and water coloring. You can even use normal ac acrylic paint or um, water coloring pencils or just normal pencils and just do it. it, it it's, it's a nice fun page. Um, I love doing water coloring. It's very therapeutic. It's lovely just to to bolt on your skill and to yeah just to try something new i hope you enjoyed it leave me a comment and let me know if you tried something like that or if you're going to do it and yeah i hope you really enjoy it please like and subscribe i really would appreciate it and hope to see you soon bye bye